This was the easy latrine. What kind of drivers are they using to uh, convince people to invest in a latrine? Competition on market uh, conditions, right? Popularity, low cost. So they actually put some money in, uh, in, in the commercial side of it, uh, in, the, in the commercial um, presentations, right? But there are commercials running all over the country with these, uh, you know, uh, these pamphlets and leaflets about the price and what you need to buy and how easy it is to get it built. And the campaign they have designed is usually following the, um, the product line, right? So what they do is they go out and contact maybe 50 people who would like to be uh, into, into, into entrepreneurs and producers, and they ask them to uh, to um, to promote these latrines to the to the villages. So the producers go out to make commercials in the villages and tell them, uh, you know, I can build a latrine. It's only 35 dollars, and it, so on and so. So they are actually uh, designing the, the campaign along the product line. There's a lot of status also. Eh? If you get this nice latrine, you are able to move away from this uh, simple peasant life to actually be somebody who has a latrine. Yeah? And of course, the important thing here and the, the crucial thing is that it's it's demand or it's product centered, right? It's about buying one single product. That's the special thing about social marketing. So it's it's product oriented and it's optimizing products, right? So it's not just a low cost, but it's actually really smart design that we are in here. There are many other <coughs> social marketing campaigns and hygiene promotion. The most famous one is about uh, uh, hand washing soap, so soap bars, branding soap in all kinds of different ways to different target groups. So you can make soap uh, very popular for different uh, segmented populations. Social marketing and health was really invented. It's content campaigns. Okay, so you get the point about social marketing, right? These are the, some of the drivers they use. Behavior change communication, which is the next uh, school of thought. Uh, I'll get, show you two examples, one from Vietnam and one from Ghana. This is a highly professionalized communication strategies that are also drawing a lot on marketing principles, where you are really analyzing the population you want to communicate with and you design messages based on your knowledge about what are people's ideas and perceptions and aspirations. So the top one here is from, it's a picture from a um, World Bank funded hand washing campaign in Vietnam. It's a national hand washing campaign and it's working. It's really effective. Who do you think is the main target group here? <laughs> Good mothers. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's the whole point here, right? Modern woman. She looks kind of rich, doesn't she? I mean, smart at least. Yeah. So I went to the to the World Bank uh, headquarter in Hanoi and asked them about this because I was puzzled about why why do they have a national campaign in a quite uh, uh, low income country uh, that portrays mothers like modern, clean, urban maybe rich women? As I was really puzzled about, does it work? I asked them. And she said, we really analyzed a huge sample of a couple of thousand mothers based <coughs> on questionnaires, and we find out the strongest aspiration for a Vietnamese mother across the country is to become part of this middle class population. They really want to move up away from being poor and being this middle class. And this is the picture of a middle class family. You know, house mother, nice and clean, sending the children off to school every day, so this, this is a major motivator for, ch for women to have this. This is a picture of how they want to be. This is a dream. So this actually motivates women to buy soap. Okay, so they really made an effort to understand women in Vietnam before they designed this. The next one is a video from uh, Ghana. It's also a hand-washing campaign. <laughs> 